Getting supplies to people who need them in Puerto Rico continues to be a challenge a week after Maria slammed the island. Gas, food, and water are scarce. The island's electrical grid is still down. Many people still cannot reach their loved ones. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily spoke with a Minnesotan from Puerto Rico who just today heard from his family while getting his first look at his home. This is what's left of the home Pedro Fonseca built in his native Puerto Rico. It's where he started his family. He was able to reach an old neighbor who sent him the pictures. We gotta be realistic, you know, if you live in the Caribbean and you have a wood house, this can happen. The married father of two moved to Minnesota after Hurricane Hugo devastated the island in 89. It's hard for him to now see how Mother Nature unleashed her fury there again, with it taking down the electrical grid. He just heard from his sister for the first time. She's in shock. She doesn't say much. I was able to get a hold of a text. He remains concerned about his 85 year old mother. She suffers from dementia and lives in a nursing home that no one has been able to reach. This hurricane came and poof, you don't know anything. And still, a week later, you don't know anything. He last visited her in August and believes in his heart he will be in touch with her again. This latest storm has taught him to live in the moment. We just, you know, gotta sit down and take it, you know, have patience and say, okay, well, let's pray and let's hope for the best. Fonseca plays a trumpet as part of an orchestra. He, along with other Puerto Ricans living in Minnesota, plan to hold a benefit concert on October 27th. The state estimates about 13,000 Puerto Ricans live here. Frank. All right, Jen, thank you. We can let you know that the St. Paul Foundation is matching all donations up to $250 through October 19th. Also, this weekend, the Minnesota Twins' wives are collecting non perishable food, bottled water, and cash donations outside of the Target Field gates before the baseball games. You'll find more ways to help as well on WCCO.com.